Interzoo 2014, I'm here at the uh, Vertex booth here with Nicholas, and he's going to show us around. Hi, Ryan. Hey, um, <laughs> hey acoustic friends. Uh, welcome from uh, Nuremberg, Germany. I want to show you here some uh, nice new things we have on the uh, fair to explain more in detail what kind of concepts we're going through here, um, what low profile things and the basic features we added to our product line and bringing more of the whole concept uh, we are facing at Vertex for our future plans. So these are some examples of your Omega skimmers. Uh, let's start with the small one, I think. Exactly. We have here the Omega 130 and the Omega 150, what is already perfectly known by all your customers because I think we sell this now since uh, one year at bulk resupply and uh, as I heard it so far the most of the customers are really happy with the product. We even get the Editor's Choice Award for this from another block uh, this uh, for the last year. The I'm 150. personally happy with mine so uh, it's what I'm using in all my tanks now. So yes I saw this one video make I'm uh, don't know what to say I'm really proud and uh, yeah thank you very much for this I really appreciate. We are also really happy because this is the first skimmer line we completely made ourselves. We started with uh, some products was made by other manufacturers, but this line we completely designed and manufactured in-house. Um, we are using CGM motor blocks on this system by the basic models of the 130 and 150. Uh, even for the new model, what is added now to the uh, Omega line, which is called now the Omega 180i. The I, let me shortly explain, means internal. What we did is to set the pump internal in the body chamber to reduce the footprint of the skimmer itself to even offer a more space in each filter system does, um, to house these components. Um, what it's we did absolutely going to save a lot of space. Uh, yes, because space is something in a cabin that everybody needs urgently. So we try to uh, point on this uh, 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 fact and uh, giving the um, Aquarius the most possible space they can get to house the most possible products they need to carry for their animals and corals. Um, the base plate, let me start with that to explain with the pump. When you put the pump inside a body chamber, you are always reducing the reaction chamber by itself by a great number. So we try to focus on that and reduced by CNC work on the base plate to put parts of the pump in the base plate where, the, uh, where we can hire the space inside the reaction chamber to bring in more power to the whole skimmer system. I noticed that it's inset in there probably maybe three-eighths of an inch. That's the kind of details that most of your competitors just wouldn't care about. And to get that uh, added uh, reaction space in there is, is really cool. Exactly. So by having the pump a little bit down, you also bring the reaction chamber down, so you have more space in the reaction part over the uh, chamber. This will uh, bring a great boost to the complete system and helps you even to have a skimmer in this size working perfectly even for larger tanks. We are talking here about tanks like um, roughly like 200 gallons, so like 700, 800 liters, depending on the bio load you have in your system setup. Having the Omega 180i line coming in, we also have another feature what's make it easy uh, for customers to work with our products in the future. We have a laser engraved dials here in gold, which makes it much easier now to use the um, to use the adjustment of this tube for the water levels and uh, for the system how to work with the skimmer. That's actually so, nice because uh, you know you don't really know where the wedge pipe is turned at any given point. So being uh, getting a visual representation of that is actually pretty handy. Exactly, and with the normal features we have added to all the lines, like the titanium adjustment screws, you can fix it then there. There is no issue that the skimmer will uh, lose this. Uh, you have just to take an eye on that every time if you make a water change or using some epoxy, maybe like the Vicola glue from us, whatever, then it can affect your system. But then easily with the dials, you can adjust it uh, just as back to its perfect performance. So this is the 180, right? This is the 180 based on the CJ PSK 1000 motor block, but uh, nevertheless, uh, the complete uh, system beside the motor block is designed and produced by Vertex, like the impeller with uh, uh, metal shaft, magnetic uh, uh, and pinwheel completely comes from us in-house. So there's a 200 coming out now, right? There is uh, one I want to show you as well. This is the new Omega 200i. It is rated for tanks up to 1,000 liter. It has a pump inside the uh, skimmer. That's why we have the I behind the 200 as well as with the 180. 
The pump is based on the Ascol motor block, which our friends and uh, customers already know from our Alpha series. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reliable pumps motor blocks you can have in the moment, I think, in our industry. And we are really happy to work with uh, these motor blocks from the start number one and have them here. And uh, they are working so good that we just, in the Omega series and the bigger ones, we thought to include this pump. So as a great benefit for the customer who wants the inside. Fantastic. Well, let's sit in this calcium reactor because this is brand new. And yes. It actually has some cool features to it. Yes, exactly. As you can see, we have a lot of functions, a lot of tubings here inside. The complete system is built by us, concepted by us and designed by us. Um, first of all, what we did, we have a bottom plate you can remove easily the chambers what makes it even for uh, customers who are not using our filter sums and having some other systems where they maybe not have that much of space so it's possible to rearrange the chambers without the bottom plate but using our system maybe to have the bottom plate you have a nicer setup and everything is arranged and at its, uh, at its place and can be used easily so you have some chambers in advance for using for carbon or magnesia you have your reaction chamber in the back all the bottom, as you can see, are concave to each other, so we're having the best effects of having the water inside. Um, also, when you're looking at these tubings here, the bottom is concave, and even the tubings are going inside in a concave bottom. The pump is connected directly to the body and is housed also on a foot, which has the silicon tubes below that so that it can easily use also without the bottom plate and reduce directly vibration coming into the uh, complete system. With the CO2 chamber in advance it will get dissolve more CO2 than if you just add it to your system and also the flow meter it's coming from us in-house helps you a lot by finding the right adjustment for your system. Well you get a visual representation of how much water is actually coming out of this rather than counting drops and wondering if it's changing over time and counting drops again every other exactly. week because it does change. So you can get a visual, easy visual representation of how much flow is coming out of this thing. Exactly. And the good thing is also because we're doing it ourselves, this can also be added uh, next time to our price list so it can be uh, even bought as a single item. So even if you have another item you can use this, you can have it from us. So if you bought like a calcium reactor from a different brand and you're regretting it you can add this type of feature to it I would not recommend that to do do uh, but it's a good feature to have it for any application you can use maybe for Libra or for some other dosing systems you want to have a flow inside um, we have also a needle valve here what helps you even to adjust everything and also the bubble counter here brings you a visual view of what you can uh, count on well, uh, I think you brought new things to uh, a pretty old concept that you do all over the place. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, and at the end it fits perfectly to the line because we're using the same material, the same high quality of producing these items, having the same colors for everything. It fits perfectly to every system we have already. Are uh, you ready to show me the Cerebra? Sure. Why not? <laughs> so Ryan, let me uh, explain you a little bit about the status about our Cerebra project in a moment. Um, we had really, really hard work on this uh, device to make it much more uh, easier to work with. So what we did, we arranged the icons a little bit and also the color concept is now more fitting to Vertex what it was before. The customers also like that the design is now more fitting to the whole line so it looks more to what they're expecting from us. As you can see, the boards are now also in Vertex white and you can see even the uh, conductivity O2, pH1, pH2 redox which is the connection at the side so that the customer has an easily view where he has to put his probes and his connections. Um, the Cerebra main unit is here connected with the power bar, with a multi-bar. Multi-bar means you not can only connect your devices to it which can be controlled directly about over the Cerebra. Also the Cerebra can recognize the power what is used by each item. So if you, for example, have a pump and it's break, so there is some too much caulk inside, it will stuck, it uses too much power, the plug will tell it to the Cerebra and the Cerebra can handle it in a way that shut it off and make a second backup pump on. The uh, interface here is so much easier to use than uh, like virtually any other controller I've seen, so when it actually is released, I'm super excited to start playing with it because it, it, it seems more intuitive uh, and easy to use than uh, many of the other options out there. Yeah, what we try to do is finding again 
a concept, what is easy to use for customers. If you understand the concept behind that, having a device what measures something or what makes any actions, and then you can make a rule what connects devices to action in different situations. Then you can handle a complete controller every time on the same way. Let's go check out the Libra dosing pumps that you guys have. Sure. So this is the Libra, right? Yes. We have this since uh, one and a half years in program. It works pretty much good now. It was one also of the products editor's choice in those uh, block we already talked about for 2013, one of the best products they choose. It's an easy to use dosing system with a lot of capability by using two different kind of pumps. We have a regular standard DC model, it's what is a really common standard in the industry. But also we are offering from Welco Japan stand, uh, the, uh, stepper motors, what has a higher accuracy and a, uh, also long, uh, longer lasting uh, system. So the system we have with the LCD touchscreen is really easy to use. You have first on your overview screen, which is normally the starting screen, you have all the information you need. Then with the home button, you just get directly in the overview. <laughs> you see how easy it is, you directly know where to go. Maybe you want to have a look in the program yourself before I show it. This is pretty easy. Uh, th I don't think you can even get any easier than this. Uh, you got it by the day, you got that uh, 50 milliliters times 100, it's going to do 5,000. You could probably change it, right? And you change it all across the board. This is a this is what I'm using again in my house as well as in my office. You can't really get any better than this. It ain't cheap, but it's fantastic. And this is what I like. There is even no need that I explain my products because our customers like them so much that they like to explain the products because they're happy to use it. Uh, I see you got a slave unit now. Yes, uh, we want to show you one thing. First of all, we have our slave unit, which is this, it's a prototype which come out soon. Uh, four pumps will be added, so we have a total of seven pumps then at the system. It's uh, pretty easy to use at the same way. You just connect it to the rebar soon, and then you have just the functions more on the screen. You click to your pump you want. All the functions are exactly the same. No need, you have just four pumps more you can control. Um, the system can also, what we are showing here, is can be controlled over the uh, Cerebra. So even if you want to buy a Cerebra in the future, there's no need to, uh, to buy a main unit and go to the LCD screen. The system can directly work with the Cerebra. So this can actually be plugged into the Cerebra? Exactly, with That's the USB fantastic. connector. And it will directly recognize by the Cerebra. The Cerebra uh, see also the uh, pumps. You have the same function and even more by using it with the Cerebra you have already in the Libra inside, which is more than enough everybody use. I also see right next to you, you have your brand new DC pumps. Yes, I was just thinking to uh, stay a little bit in front because uh, now it's out, I would say. Uh, we show here also on this interview the Stratus 200 pump, which is a 200 watt pump uh, regularly. Um, the complete body, the complete materials, what is used is based in-house. The complete design and also the complete concept is from us. We are using IP68 connections here on this pump, which is also connected to the controller. So if needed and a controller falls in water, should be no hassle that you can grab it off. But every time, be careful, we have a really high power using product here. So your life should be first in your head before you're grabbing in water when a device is inside. But using this proper connection in a proper way should be no hassle, so no problems for your controller. Just unplug before the power, before you grab in water. So what is the controller gonna do? With the controller, you can adjust the RPM of the pump. You can have the same uh, the, you can have completely pro uh, control of this pump using the RPM. The LCD screen is already known from the Libra. Even the system we are using from the icon-based uh, touch system is the same like in the Libra. So if someone can use the Libra before, the Stratos is like easy to go. All right, so I think we've got one last thing to hit on and it's the Illumina upgrade that you guys are about to do. Can you give me just a couple of highlights on what's changing with the Illumina? Sure, Ryan. So, uh, Ryan, you asked for the Illumina. So, here's the new upgrade on the Illumina. This is the new Illumina 2. As you can see, from outside there is not that much changing. Why? It's a perfect design. You have a low profile design, uh, great aluminum housing, what covers all the um, passive cooling uh, effects of this light perfectly. What we did was taking a 
deeper look on what is possible in the moment by supplying the corals with the needed light they need. So we added to the pad some new LEDs. We reduced the light with the display. We added a new function by Bluetooth in the moment, which will be changed to Wi-Fi. So in the future, there is no display needed anymore. You will just get out of your smartphone, connect to a store, download the app, connect to your light, and have the complete possibility of functions in your phone. So it's easy to use because your phone knows you know how to work with, and all the functions this light has will be shown on your phone like you get used to, so you can directly control it. What had we done? We upgraded the pads to 22 LEDs per pad. What makes it now, instead of 32 LEDs per 30 centimeter one foot, it has now 44 LEDs per one foot. Wow. We added some colors. We raised the channels. So we have now not only from Cree LEDs inside, we are using the newest LED from Philips and also from Osra. We added two new green LEDs to this. The lime green LED is brand new coming out of the market. Lime lime green. I think this is one of the nano wave lengths we really, really needed in the industry for the corals. I'm uh, really happy to have this inside. We, it's uh, completely inside every pad. You can control it every channel singly. We have even two kinds of red. We have normal red and hyper red, which is roughly around, I think, 670 nanometers. The three UVs we know already is 395 nanometers, 405 nanometers, 420 nanometers directly included. Most of our customers know it from the multicolor modules or the old UV modules. Um, we have also as white and blue and royal blue, cool white. So it's uh, white in this side. The royal blue everybody knows and also the blue is, was the standard before. Um, you pretty much got the whole rainbow now. I mean, I don't think anybody has as many colors in there as, as you guys do. Yeah, well, let me let say this. Some of the producers already said, yeah, we have to complete sunlight. But honestly, there are much, much more colors involved. But we did the best to bring most powerful light to the uh, system. What is your, the need for your corals? Um, what we also added now is that the possibility by using the Wi-Fi uh, function and your smartphone, you can control now each color channel single on each pad. Really? So that means you can control all the pads at the same time or you have a preferred coral in the front, you want to add a little bit more of some other color, you just go in your pad number one, you change this one particular color you want to have added to this one coral and you just control this one pad. Each pad singly can now be controlled and you can really play some crazy things with it. I know like uh, the red particularly pulls out some colors in some corals which would be really cool so that's pretty neat. It depends on which corals you're housing. Everybody knows that you never have a tank just one coral from one reef in one particular area. Normally all the reef tanks our friends have have corals from around the, all around the world. Different areas, different needs. So with the light we can supply now with the Illumina, you can even have a larger tank, different areas where you can make different setups of light, even when you're using one Illumina instead of multiple systems. Excellent. Well, I think you showed us pretty much everything in your booth today. So uh, thank you for all your time and I really appreciate it. Thank you.